Hi Thomas, great to see you today at the uh, Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on uh, what we worked on today. So let's have a look at your swing here. We can see here the first movement here is the club head. It's tending to track what I'd call a little bit too on the inside. And we can see here this your uh, right forearm there is definitely higher than your left from face on. So club head is going way too inside and we can see here the face is wide open. So we needed to get, if you look here at Molinari here on the right, you'll see that his first move, the club head stays much more outside his hands. And when he comes halfway back here into this halfway position here, we can see his club face at a 45 degree angle that way, opposed to if I get rid of that, yours is going the opposite way. So your face of your club is wide open, or his is slightly closed. And then from there, we're going to try and get the club, the club to set, cutting through... Uh, cutting through his right shoulder Molinari so you can see that it hinges so you can see with Molinari if we put a wall straight behind him there and we run through the whole swing sequence here you can see the shaft's never going to hit the wall where of yourself we can see you're going to take the wall out very very early on so we just need to get that hinging and when you do hinge the shaft we can see here the shaft is still pointing way above the ball opposed to Molinari's is actually between the golf ball and his feet not a very straight line sorry Tom so we can see that's really important. That was really affecting your chipping as well, Thomas. So really work hard on getting that right forearm higher than left to about your right knee and then get the wrists hinging so we can get that shaft bisecting the right shoulder opposed to uh, rolling inside. And that keep the club face square. The rest of the swing's tremendous. But we can see here at the top of the swing, this blade is wide open up here where we look at Molinari's again. We get to the top, he's, in a, he's at a 45 degree angle and it matches his shaft. So... That's all you got to work on for me is work on that set, keep the club face square, which will keep the club more outside the hands. Club to, on the way down, the lines, like I said earlier, really good. Left arm's fantastic. Shaft's cutting through the right forearm, apart from the faces. Once again, just leaning back, but that's because the first part of the swing's wrong. And then coming into impact, really, really good, but the blade's a bit open. And it doesn't matter how much you try and release the club, this thing is still going to be open. So... Really work on right forearm stays higher than the left. Get the club to hinge through the right shoulder and, uh, and we're chipping as well. Just make sure you put a stick in the ground like we did on the chipping area. A little stick there and just try and miss it on the way back on the way through. Any problems, give me a shout and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Thomas.